Welcome to Sunday Reach by Dominicans in India. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the feast of the baptism of our Lord marks the conclusion of the Christmas season and the beginning of ordinary time. This feast indicates the transition from Jesus' hidden life to that of his public ministry. This feast also echoes the theme of the Epiphany, that is another manifestation announcing Jesus' divinity to all of his first followers and the disciples of John the Baptist. Jesus did not need the baptism of John. John the Baptist says that he has baptized with water, but that the one who is to come will baptize with the Holy Spirit. St. Jerome points out the difference between baptism with water and with the Holy Spirit. He says, Water is the ministry of man, but the Spirit is ministered by God. The John's baptism was not at a Christian baptism. It was a preparation for the Christian baptism which we celebrate today and through which sins are forgiven and the gift of the Holy Spirit is received. John was baptizing as a call to and sign of interior repentance. Jesus had no need to repent, but he comes to John. John resists at first, but Jesus insists. Then why did Jesus receive baptism? First of all, by accepting the baptism of John, Jesus affirms all that John has said and done and affirms his sacred role of preparing the way for Jesus and for a new era of grace. Therefore, the baptism of Jesus acts as a bridge between the Old Testament prophets, of which John was the last, and the New Testament era of grace and truth. Secondly, water cleanses the dirt, but in the case of Jesus, who was holy, made the waters holy. It has been said that when Jesus entered the waters of baptism, he was not baptized by the waters, rather, his baptism was one in which all the created waters of the world were, in a sense, baptized by him. By entering into the waters, Jesus sanctified water and poured forth his grace, making all water the future source of salvation. Thirdly, the baptism of Jesus was an epiphany. It was a moment of manifestation. As he emerged from the waters, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. This manifestation of the Sonship and Divinity of Jesus took place in a physical, audible and visible form, so that all who were present would know, without question, that Jesus was the Son of the Father. Thus, His baptism is a way in which the Father introduced His Son and His Son's mission to the world. Dear friends, Christ made the waters holy, and when we receive the baptism, we are cleansed from the original sin. Water is used for cleansing from dust and dirt. Therefore, in baptism, water is the symbol of a spiritual washing from original sin. But it can also symbolize both death and life. One can plunge into the water and be submerged by it. Then it is a symbol of death. After the plunge, one may rise from the water. Then it is a token of resurrection. Water is also a sign of separation. Water very often is the natural boundary between city and city, state and state, nation and nation, continent and continent, tribe and tribe. Those who live on one side of the water are separated from those who live on the other. This symbolism therefore indicates the separation of the Christian from the world, as the water which was divided in the Red Sea was a symbol of the separation of Israel from slavery of Egypt. One may ask, what good does 
a little water do when poured upon the head of a child we may ask the same person what does a little water do when poured into the boiler the water in the boiler can do nothing of and by itself nor can the water on the head of a child but when the water in the boiler is united to the mind of an engineer it can drive an engine across a continent or a ship across the sea so too when water is united to the power of god it can do more than change a crystal into life it can take a creature and convert him into a child of god dear friends by baptism we are made the children of god how many of us remember the day of our baptism yes many of us are baptized when we were small but do you remember the day when you are born yes we do know it we do remember it and we celebrate it too but the day when we become a member of the church the child of the lord we don't know it if we don't try to know the day of our baptism then how can we try to live the life of baptism and how can we remind ourselves that the holy spirit dwells in us saint bede says now we are baptized by the lord in the holy spirit not only when in the day of our baptism we are washed in the fount of life to the remission of our sins but also daily by the grace of the same spirit we are inflamed to do those things which please god by baptism we are separated from the world and we are made the part of the mystical body of christ may we always remember this and live life of holiness thus may we always abide in christ and one day may we also hear the words of our god you are my beloved son you are my beloved daughter with you i am well pleased